Hi, my name's Dale, and welcome to Metal Tips and Tricks. So, this was a great week for Craigslist Find, and that's what I want to show you today on Metal Tips and Tricks. I just made a great purchase off of Craigslist this surface grinder. When I was talking to this guy on the phone, he said this was his grandfather's shop and he gave it to him. So we'd love to hear those words, don't we guys? I know it may sound morbid, but you're on board with me on this and I know it. And honestly, by the time I got there, there was nothing left except the surface grinder. The surface grinder is amazing. But I did ask him after we load up, I said, do you got anything else? And he says, well, I got some stuff over here in the corner. I don't know if there's anything there. Um, go take a look and see what you find. So underneath a table behind some boxes. These are the treasures I located. This toolbox, six drawers, it's about 20 by 24. And also some just, you know, a cheap mag base, cheap Chinese caliper, never been used. Some fun stuff here, some manuals, for screw machines and other things like that. Here's a great one. Um, a Warren Swayze uh, number five universal ram type uh, turret lathe. I've actually been looking for one of these to find an original book is, uh, you know, definitely very exciting. In a toolbox, there's always some sort of tools. So I just wanted to kind of show you guys what I found. And this is one of those you open the drawer carefully and you go, is there something in here of value? And you open it up, you start pulling, you start pulling, and you go, oh my gosh, this is cool. So we've got some, you know, different types of uh, uh, thread gauges, different sizes. Here's a one and a quarter by 12, one and a quarter by 12, so I got two of those, but we got five more drawers to go, guys. Look at that. It just keeps going. Is that cool or what? Go for the next drawer. Now, if you'll notice, everything is coated in oil. And here in Atlanta, that's a good sign because if this stuff wasn't coated in oil, well, it would have zero value. It would just be, you know, drawers full of rusty parts. Look at this. It just goes on forever. I'm not even sure what's in here yet. Hopefully it's mostly U.S. standard. Here's some just ordinary... Uh, go no go gauges. So that's drawer number four, drawer number five. Oh, these are always fun. More no go gauges. Oh, look at this Mitsutoyo. Large radius gauges. Boy, there might actually be a full set in there. Some of these still have plastic on them, so they've never been used. And down here, more no-go gauges. Now these are really unique because they're probably odd sizes that I would never use, but they may be for threading. This seems to be a threading box. But is this deal cool? So I just thought you guys might enjoy this little uh, Craigslist find, little quick video here. Prices, 
Um, I don't know if I want to tell you guys. You might get a little mad at me. The grinder. Now, that grinder was on Craigslist for over two months. Okay. I got, got it for $300. And it has a special, how do I want to say it? The way this lubricates itself is incredible because a lot of these machines you just have a pump to lubricate it or some manual way to lubricate it. This actually has a flow system. So what that means is there's always a coat of oil flowing over the ways, always fresh oil, also on all the threads. That's all got oil flowing through it, coming back into a reservoir, filtered out, and then repumped through. So you're always running on a clean coat of oil and a constant coat of oil, so it's very consistent in the operation of it. Also, it makes it easier to activate and move it from left to right also. Um, this toolbox here, the toolbox with everything. Oh, and I actually had him throw in these extra things. I know he never really wanted these books, um, but I found them fascinating. Um, there was piles and piles of paperwork, which I hope he doesn't throw away. I told him, if you're going to throw it away, give me a call. I'll pick it up. I'll take it away for free. But back to this. I got this box loaded the way it is, dirt and everything, for 235 bucks. It's a steal of a deal, and when those come up, you just got to take them. So I hope you guys have uh, enjoyed my little Craigslist find. I guess we'll call this uh, Tools or Treasures. Uh, tools and treasures, something like that. Treasures and tools. Till next time, go out in your shop, build something cool. Thanks. Stop the video, stop the credits. I've got an update. So I've cleaned everything out of that toolbox. You know, all the um, ring gauges and plug gauges. And I've got something I need to talk to you guys about. There's a saying that if cat food's on sale and you don't have a cat, it's not a good deal. Well, these ring gauges and plug gauges are amazing and they're very expensive. But they're no good if they don't have sizes that aren't what you're accustomed to. So here's an example. Here is a 1.375 with 24 threads per inch. Now what's interesting, it's all in decimal and not in fractions. The other thing is it's a left-handed thread. The chance of me ever needing to do um, a test on a thread like this, zero. The other threads, um, the other gauges are very similar. All very fine threads. Some of them go up to 40 and past, you know, in two inch increment. And there's one, I think it's a two inch, that's a 40 pitch thread. It's something I will never use. That's a very, uh, but I want to say NASA thing. I'm wondering if this guy didn't buy a bunch of surplus uh, go, no-go gauges from NASA. But it's still a great purchase. You know, I've got about 20 full sets um, and then probably another 20 miscellaneous ones. Out of all that, there's only about three, maybe four sizes that I'll ever use. So just wanted to update you on that. I'm not disappointed in my purchase. Just kind of a little bummed. But until next time, Go out to your shop, build something cool. Thanks.